The Nun 2 is a direct sequel to the 2018 film. It is the ninth installment and third chronological film in the Conjuring universe. This time it's being directed by Michael Chavez, the same guy responsible for The Curse of La Llorona and The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Taking place in 1956 France, a priest is murdered and it's up to sister Irene to investigate, which once again leads her to coming face to face with the demon nun Valak. Going into the sequel, I had very little faith that this film was going to be good considering that the first installment was such a huge disappointment, but afterwards, it's decent. I mean, I actually liked what I saw in the movie. Not the greatest, but you know, it's passable. It is definitely a much bigger film compared to the first film in every way. The direction's better, even though I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of Michael Chavez, but if you actually look very closely at all his films starting with La Llorona to now, his direction skills have actually gotten much better over time. The color grading is much darker compared to being light and campy in the first film. The characters are much more fleshed out, and the demon on Valak is not overly exposed, but best of all, they got rid of all that comedic one-liners in the film. So yeah, it's pretty much not a perfect film, but at least they're learning from their mistakes. A big part that really does help out is the screenplay by Akila Cooper. I mean, this was the same screenwriter who wrote Megan, another successful horror film this past year, and her take on this franchise really does help a lot, being a much more creepier and more less over-the-top film with fleshed out characters like Sister Irene and Maurice. They got personality. Sister Irene's got this sad backstory and Maurice has got this father-daughter-like relationship with this little girl named Sophie who's not just very likable but she does have a lot of heart added to the film and has a sense of pure innocence. On the horror side you do have improved build-up scenes and jump scares that got me a few times. Not every one of them landed though and it wasn't very much that scary the second time watching it but majority of it I would actually say it's decent. The third act is satisfying and probably the best part about this movie. And I'll just say, a movie of any genre, if they have a really good ending or probably the best ending ever, majority of the time is really going to save a film from ever being considered bad and is really the saving grace. But pretty much it just leaves The Nun too, just being a fun, enjoyable film at best. As many horror films, it does suffer from a lot of cliches that we've seen for the millionth time already. Like we see a door open on its own and a character is going to go in out of curiosity even though we know for sure, oh don't go in that door. We know what's going to happen or we see a camera panning away for a moment and coming back to a character and then there's a mysterious figure right behind them. It's been done a million times but it's just like I said, it's just not as bad as other films would do it. Also Storm Reid's character in the film is really not given that much to do, who I actually do like Storm Reid. I've done a movie review about her on the short from Missing. I think she's a very talented actress, but here she's not given that much material to work with, and I think it was kind of a little bit underwhelming. Like I said, this ain't no horror cinematic masterpiece. The Conjuring universe tends to now be hit or miss these days, and out of the nine films, I'd probably say it's the fourth best one in the series, given more on the positive side which I'm okay with. Also without spoilers because I did say that this was a no spoiler review but I'll just say this there is one mid credit scene and that's it. I'm done with that part. For casual moviegoers, I would say that you're going to have a fun, entertaining time with it. Just go in there for laughs and scares and think nothing of it. For fans of this universe, you're going to have to get past the first movie in order to watch this movie, but I would say it's on the more recommendation side. And for hardcore horror fans, I would just wait on this movie till it becomes released on streaming or for rent. For the final score, I'm going to give The Nun 2 a 6.5 out of 10. But even though this is just my opinion, I want to ask you guys now, what are your thoughts on The Nun 2? Are you planning on seeing it? Are you passing on it? Have you actually watched the movie and did you like or did you not like it? Join me in the comments section down below and let me know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, subscribe here to the OMG Critic, the obsessive movie geek.